Hey guys, welcome back to the action. Having a look at Ishihara now. And he went through under 73, kind of dominantly, through a lot of people. And started out in the first round against Lombardo. So I thought this was a score for Lombardo when I first saw it. But when you slow it down, you can kind of see Ishihara, he gets up. He gets up and rolls around, so I don't think his back touched the mat. And they went to the video referee, had a look at it, so no wasari there. But then Ishihara, I mean, he just really put it to Lombardo. There's a super nice kind of sequence here. Lombardo first attacks, goes down for a kataguruma. And then Ishihara just kind of dominates him. So here it is. Here's the kataguruma. Goes up and then have a look at this Osoto. Osoto for Wazari. Have a look at it again. This like driving Osoto Gari here with two lapels. And then straight into the Newaza. And watch this, as soon as Lombardo reacts, Ishihara jumps on top of him. Just wait for it, it's very quick. As the legs come out, and you'll see the reaction. Right there, look at that, just clamps down on top of Lombardo. So it was a bit unfortunate, I did want to see more of Lombardo, but Ishihara, he gave us a great performance all day long. This next match against Lee from Korea. And there was another dangerous kind of moment in this fight as well. And I think that's because Ishihara, I mean, he's really aggressive. Always looking to throw. Very exciting guy to watch. But sometimes he puts himself in a little bit of danger. So you see that here. Almost gets countered with the Uranage. But I think similar situation to the Lombardo fight. Just turned out at the right time. Very, very good defensively as well. Look at him just jump for those grips. And this is a nice Ochigari. Now, I haven't actually seen much of Ishihara. I've probably seen an Ippon or two from him over the years in the Kodokan Cup and, and other places. But I don't really know him that well. But he looks like someone who's really exciting. Left-handed fighter. Good Ochigari. Good Osotogari. I mean, look at the way he just kind of elevated his opponent there. And he does that entry for the Ochigari and the Osoto as well. I think maybe a bit of kind of influence from Ono Shohei, but you're seeing a lot of the younger Japanese generation doing a lot more Osotogari than they used to. I think, uh, I mean, look at that. Amazing Ochigari. So watch the body movement and the hands. Right there, how he elevates. Right there again. How he elevates his opponent, makes those techniques easier to get into, and also kind of generates a bit of momentum. This is great stuff. So yeah, as I was saying, I mean, Ono Shohei's generation, kind of, I think, Inoue Kose had a lot of influence there with the Uchimata. And then of course, Koga as well, kind of popularized those standing kind of big Seo Inage techniques. But I think these days, I mean, Ono Shohei's influence everyone a lot of people doing all sotogari have a look at that no score but still it's great to see double sleeves now which is a little bit different trying to make something happen here trying to scoop up a leg for an uchimata doesn't get it and now this is more his kind of area lift us right and look at that uchimata Really scoops him well, low. A lot of work done with the hands there. Semi-final now. And you'll see a little bit more kind of variation in his techniques. So not only is he doing a lot of Ashiwaza, kind of Uchimata, Ochigari, Osotogari. We've seen him get scores with all three of those techniques. But also kind of the Katsugi, those kind of uh, shoulder throws as well. And look at this. I mean, his arm gets pretty... Pretty extended here, but he doesn't tap. Manages to get out of it. And this is quite incredible. And I think for someone like Ishihara, you are very young. And you're here on the big stage. This is your big opportunity. I think you'll take a little bit of pain at the possibility of getting gold. So here's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's really clean. Still no score, but I mean, it's a great technique to see that he's also doing that as well. And then what I loved about this fight is he got it back. 
So went to the ground. You know, he had a juji applied to him. Managed to bear it out, get through it. And then he goes and does the same thing to his opponent. And watch the facials. He's really trying to get this arm. He really wants it. And look at this, testing the resolve of his opponent. Are you going to tap? Yep, he'll tap. So Ishihara showed a bit of heart and then got the revenge. That was really, really sweet. So this is the final now. And i got to say, Ishihara, he's in a good spot. Who else is there at 73? I mean, Ono Shohei, retired. Hashimoto, he's, he's, he's got the Olympics in him and I think that's it, to be honest. Who else is there? Anyway, check out this fantastic technique. And this technique, I guess it's an Ashiguruma. Watch how sticky his left leg is. And then he uses it for leverage. I mean, look at that. Close to an Ippon, but just a Wazari. And this is good to see in a final. Really attacking Judo. The crowd are going to love this. Looking for a Tanya Toshi there. And there's that Katsugi Wazari again. Almost gets it. Almost gets it. It would have been really nice if he got a point with that. And then he just would have had points with all sorts of techniques. Doing well, defending well, defending the Georgian grips there, which is good to see. And here's a final score. Ochigari again, enough for a Wazari. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Murao this. Anyway guys, what do you guys think of Ishihara? I think he's pretty damn good. And it'll be good to see more of him in the future. See you later. Peace.